We have a new writer on the staff. Our newest writer on the staff is a comedian named Anthony Lopez, and he is a yeah, definitely. You're right. He's a he's a great comedian. He's a really excellent writer. He's helped us out a lot. He's been very funny. Uh, he's also the most opinionated man I've ever met, <laughs> and in a, in a delightful way. It's great. He, but he has nothing that he doesn't have an opinion about. And so we started doing this web series. For those of you who haven't seen it, we did a web series uh, called Strong Opinions with Anthony Lopez, and we just gave him a beer and a minute and just threw topics at him. <laughs> And it was great fun, uh, you can see it on our website. But we decided uh, that this would be a great opportunity since we have all of you here and we have some interesting stuff going on in the world to do a live version of Strong Opinions with Anthony Lopez. Does that seem fun? Yeah. Please welcome up Mr. Anthony Lopez! Uh, yeah, just, you're standing, I think you should say standing. Uh, to, it's an alpha position. Yeah, I get that. <laughs> You guys saw that I didn't flinch, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, okay, so here's what I got. I got a list of some topics that I, with Bree and uh, some of our other writers, we've generated. We're, I'm just going to pitch some stuff at you. You comfortable? You settled I'm in? always ready to be opinionated. <laughs> All right. So some of these are questions and some of them aren't. Uh, which do you prefer, you guys ready? You ready to start? Which do you prefer, Anthony, as a nickname for Portland, Bridgetown or Stumptown? Bridgetown is clearly the better name. What? <laughs> what the, we, we cut down a bunch of fucking trees once. la dee da we built bridges, you guys. That is such, we have, I don't know if this is true. A guy told me this once when he was drunk once, but he said that we're called Bridgetown because we have more feet of bridge than any other bridge in the city of the world. And that's something to be proud of. So any city can just cut down trees. We built more bridges than France or something. Or not. Uh, yeah. More feet of bridge, you guys, that's awesome. We got all the feet of bridge. And, I have strong memories with a little festival named after that. Oh, that's true. It's the Bridgetown Comedy yeah, Festival. Yeah, Stumptown Comedy Festival. I'm not going to go to that. There's a Stumptown Improv Festival. They're competing now. I don't do improv, so... All right, what's the... What, okay, new question. What is the best first-person shooter? Sub-question. Why isn't it Goldeneye? I'm a big fan of Bioshock 2 DLC Minerva's Den. <laughs> that's a very good one. But, oh, so... Okay. It's a, it's a very hard thing to say. There's a lot of great first person shooters. I can tell you why it's not Goldeneye. Okay. <laughs> Goldeneye is a great game. But in the same way that, like, when I was 16 and I was only drinking Paps because that's all I knew how to get, I thought Paps was the greatest beer on the planet. <laughs> I was like, oh man, this is the mountaintop beer, piss water, it's delicious. And then I grew up and I discovered, like, sophisticated beers. I was like, oh, it's so much better. But hey, you pin it four people around with Paps and Goldeneye and SDTV, it's still a good time. <laughs> it's it's Half-Life 2. Okay, moving on. All right. Uh, waiting in line for ice cream for an hour. Acceptable, not acceptable? Is the Holocaust acceptable? <laughs> completely, completely unacceptable. Let me tell you about the first time I ever went to Salt, uh, salt and Straw. That's the big one here. Yeah. First time I ever went there, there was no line. I swear to God, the friend was like, hey, it's an ice cream shop, we should go there. So I went in with a friend, we got ice cream, it was delicious. And they're like drug dealers, they give you that first one for free. No line! <laughs> and they get you hooked. And the next thing they want you to do is wait an hour, wait two hours, while they just take breaks and fuck around on their cell phones. <laughs> is that what they're doing? I didn't notice that. <laughs> I don't know. I've never gone in. I don't know what they're doing in there. A, a drunk I see the line told me that and I leave. That's a bullshit opinion. <laughs> oh. That's a bullshit opinion. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Portland's funniest person, Shane Torres. <laughs> what is your deal, Shane? What's wrong? You won't wait in line an hour for ice cream, but you'll wait with me two hours to see The Dark Knight for the second time. <laughs> You're fucking full of shit, man. Look, like, if I was going into the ice cream place and the guy at the counter was giving me a ledger quality ice cream scoop, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd come back for the second time. I'd probably come back for the third time. I saw that movie four times in the theaters. <laughs> yeah, and you shit all over it. Nothing <laughs> pleases you. I got a lot of problems with it. It's fun, though. Yeah, he's got a lot of problems with the unrealistic superhero movie. <laughs> Okay, 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 gentlemen, settle down really. I'm gonna ask a question to both of you now. Uh, how about this? Uh, which, shape, which state should we kick out of the U.S.? You Shane? go first. Uh, Anthony, go first. Okay, here's what I think on this. This is a pitch I've actually pitched to a senator once. <laughs> <laughs> I say, here's what we do. 
we dig Disney World out of the ground, move it to another state, and then we just cut Florida off. We'll just pave it. A giant, imagine if your kids are like, hey dad, what's with that uh, giant poking lot that looks like a penis sticking out of the United States? And I was like, oh, it's better than what used to be there. <laughs> So Florida, but we gotta take Disney World out. That place is fucking magic. Shane, what do you think? I say any state that has another cardinal direction in the state. So North Carolina, South Carolina can go. <laughs> North Dakota, South Dakota. And then we don't what about change the Virginia, names. West Virginia. So you would lose Virginia just by association. Yeah, you cut you cut them both off. Like you get rid of all six of those. Yeah. <laughs> what about all right? What about new versus old? Like, we, do we get to keep New York and New Mexico? Have you been to New Mexico? <laughs> Places of shit. I went there one time when I left Texas, that's where I'm from, uh, and I stopped in Las Cruces, which is the first town across the western border of Texas, and in Las Cruces I stopped to get gas, and all I saw at this AM PM was a homeless man drinking paint. So, <laughs> if you want to keep that, fine. <laughs> But also, no. Like, are you shitting me? You want to keep that? All right. Which is the best world war? Z. 